Hey you guys, it's Axel here, and today we're going to talk about the Galaxy S5 and how to unbrick it correctly. This uh, is a flawless proof, and it is for the AT&T variant of the Galaxy S5. And uh, just a uh, heads up, I do apologize for my mic ahead of time. I do realize it is probably low, and it is a little bit uh, bad. I do apologize. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So on the files in the description, uh, each of them will be a download lo link. You will need uh, this G900A downgrade. Uh, to nce.rar, which it will be in the description, and you will need the Odin 3 3.10.6 uh, uh, file. Um, I will have the original download to their website, so don't worry about that, and I will have a link to download the G900 downgrade. Now, another thing, a lot of people I'm pretty sure are asking, um, you can't downgrade from whatever you're on because of uh, Odin, or, or not Odin, I'm sorry, uh, Nox. Well, that's what I thought too, but Nox did not trip the way I rooted it, and Nox still did not trip when I downgraded it. So, pretty much, after you extract the files and download them, you will get these. Uh, you will get the Odin3.v309.exe. Uh, that is not the one I used, I'm sorry. That is the one I used, but I told you the wrong one. I told you the 310. Uh, they don't matter. It doesn't really matter which one you use. It can just, you know, it depends. Make sure when you have the files extracted, they're all completely extracted, none are corrupted. This one's 2.29 gigs, unextracted, but the extraction version is like a gig 69, I believe. Uh, don't judge me. No, it's 2. Dot, yeah, dot, dot, 1.56 gigabytes. Anyways, so once you have them extracted, like so, uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on Odin and run as administrator and say yes. Now, as it's run as administrator, you'll see this. At this moment, you will need to put your phone into download mode. In order to do that, I will not show you. I will have a picture, I believe, instead, if I can put it on. All you do is you get your Galaxy S5, and you hold the power button, the down button, and the home button until it comes up download mode, or to enter download mode. And then you push the up button, uh, the up volume button, and it'll send you straight into download mode. Now, you should see an Android little figure and a bunch of text at the top. Just ignore that. At this point, what you want to do is you want to plug it into your computer. Now, when you plug it into your computer, you will get a box. This box will show that your Galaxy S5 is connected correctly, and there is no problems. So it says 0, COM5. The COM5 does not matter. The 0 does not matter. Honestly, it should say 0 every time, but the COM will be different. But if it's not blue, then you're in trouble. Then you will have to install the correct drivers, or you could have another reason that it's bad. Uh, in order to install the correct drivers, I really suggest you go to Google and find Kai's. There will also be a link in the description for Kai's. Kai's 3 is the best, the nearest one in uh, Samsung's official software that will install the drivers uh, directly. Now, once it's blue, what you want to do is you have these options, VL, AP, CP, and CSC. We're only going to be using AP, so let's select it. From here, you will go to where you have extracted the downgrade file, which is here. Now, it will freeze up. Don't mess, any, don't mess with anything. Don't touch anything. Uh, if you push it a few times, it will not respond. But when it's done, it will unrespond. Uh, this is normal for it. It's just reading the file and unpacking it correctly. It will crash if you push the X 100 times. But don't do that. Just let it you know, deal with itself. Like right now, it does say not responding. But it will come out of that in a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see, now it's ready. Uh, I went ahead and cut it because I didn't know how long it would actually take. It only took a minute, honestly. So now, as you can see, it says a the AP is checked right here. It says AP, uh, and then it has where my file is located, which is uh, C user actual desktop G900A. Yes, that's it. Okay, great. So now let's look at all this. There is the auto reboot, auto reboot, repartition, F reset time, flash log, LED control, NAND, erase all, and T flash. From here, all you need is auto reboot and F reset time. Now. We don't have to worry about anything else. As long as it says added here, this is blue, the the ID com is blue, and it says it's read the file correctly. From here, you can push start. I'm not going to push start because I've already correctly flashed my Galaxy S5, and I actually have it running 442. Now, the reason I bricked my Galaxy S5 was because I had installed... I had it installed, I had actually rooted it on my 4.4.4 .4 .4 firmware, which I knew exactly from the start was a problem. 
was a huge problem because everything started crashing. Once everything started crashing, I kind of just let it go, and then I tried to restore it. Once I restored it, I noticed that something wasn't right, and I easily just, I don't really know how to say this, uh, I restored it, and then everything started crashing and said something about the framework, and I had to redownload it. Well, I was tired of it, because I couldn't use my messaging app, and I couldn't really use anything else. So, what I did was, I found a, what they said was 4.4.4, and tried to flash it, it bricked in a little bit more, and then they said 4.4.2 would work, so I tried it, and it didn't, of course. So, I've been trying to find a way this whole time, and here it is. Now, if y'all don't want to listen to this, y'all can simply skip to the end, however long it is, and uh, finish up from there. Uh, from here, at this point, you can flash it up to Lollipop, which I did do right after I flashed it back to 4.4.2. That is the correct version, AT&T variant. G900A Galaxy S5 442. 4.4.2. That is KitKat 4.4.2. Uh, you can flash it up using FlashFire. Uh, you can easily Google it and find a guide. Or if you would like me to make a video on it, just you know comment below and I wouldn't mind making a video at all. It's really easy, honestly. Uh, there are tons of guides. Actually, there's two or three guides that I found that work properly and guide you straight through it, but I'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you don't mind, hit the like button below and share. And other than that, See you guys later.